Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture of a border and asked how to draw it. And I kind of pretty quickly drew it and got pretty close. I think I'm almost dead on. So how would you draw something like this? There's, there's probably a, a lot of ways. I'm going to control G and group that and get it out of the way. And then hit P in the center of the page. And even though that doesn't really work on this particular deal because this picture is not going to be centered. But I'm going to just start drawing with a two-point line. Or actually, I'm going to take a, a, a square first. And I'm going to go from there. And I'm going to hold down the control button and get it like a perfect square. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the shift button, I'm going to bring it. The best thing to do on something like that, it keeps grabbing the picture. So go up to object, lock, and lock it. Then you won't grab the, the picture anymore. And then take your pick tool and grab the line. Control D and make a duplicate. Hold it in the shift key and bring it down to that. And get it, you know, kind of zoom in and see how close you are. And we're pretty close. And uh, what we could do is make it a little closer on this corner holding down the shift key and bringing it in. You kind of want it in the center of that. And then this one, we're going to hold down the shift. I must have made a duplicate. So let's delete that line. This one, we're going to hold down the shift to make it. And this is kind of hard because it's not really in the center of the, um, you know, you can't really get it in both centers because the picture isn't equal. We're really just worried about this one corner right now anyway, but we do want it square. And then what I would do is probably take another rectangle, holding down the control button to make it perfect and, and go like to, to that center. Now you've got a bunch of different lines. And then we probably go ahead and take a line. It's kind of, you got to really be thinking, you know, what's next. So we're going to go from there holding down the control button so it'll be perpendicular. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up there so it'll be perpendicular. So we've got basically four boxes, and you could have probably done that, uh, taken some time and made a little bit better. Uh, but just for the video, that's probably good enough. Now let's take a two-point line, holding down the control button. And if you, you need to start moving it first, let's make this line black so we can actually see it better. And then we're going to take it and we're going to place it where we need to break this line. And I'm going to move it up there. I'm going to hit, move it over here, hit the plus key on the keyboard. And by the picture, some of these aren't really even. And that's one of the reasons is right there. I need to, I need to move that up a little bit and then take this, this line and move it up a little bit. And then if you're really going to do it for real, I would uh, probably, you know, find out how far that was and then nudge it that far. But for the video, it's going to take enough time for the video anyway. And then make another one and rotate it 90 degrees. Now you have a line to put here. And we're really only having to work on one corner. And I just see one more. Put. And right now, we're just going to work on the corner. So now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete these lines that I do not want. And I think I've got them all. And then just go in and remove your black lines. Just click on them and hold down the one hand on the delete button and one hand on the you know, make sure you get the line. See, like there, I don't have the line. And I think we're pretty good. So what I'd like to do also is bring in an index. Well, before I do that, I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to go to Object, Lock, and Unlock All. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 17 inches. I'm going to delete that. Now, while this is still square, and you see it square, I'm going to control G and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to hit P and you see the difference. 
that where we need to be. Now we can add these things later, but we'll go ahead and nudge these back over. And this time maybe even move the picture down to the my picture so everything will be square. And we need to make make these lines. And there's like I said, there's probably several ways to do this. I'm gonna hold down the control button to get a pretty good perfect circle. Bring it into the picture. And I need to make it a little bit smaller, so hold down the shift key and then just kind of place it in the center of that. Now would be best thing to remember 17, but 0 0.001, change your nudge factor. So you can nudge this guy ever so slightly that you couldn't do by hand. That looks pretty good. Control D and make a duplicate and move it to this side. And for the video, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna grab, go back to 17 inches grab our photograph and move it out of the way. And now I'm going to cut out the lines I do not need. I don't need those lines. I don't need that line or that line or that line. So you see what we're doing there. <clears throat> but now we need to put some stop points on that this shape. So let's get a two point line and, and even even kind of do it at an angle and go right here and put it pretty close, hit the plus key, put it there, take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line and that line because we want the lines to stop. And then if you wanted to, the best thing to do would be control G and group that, go ahead and mirror it the other way and bring it down to this side. And, and you'd want to really get it on there perfect. Um, you know, maybe if you had a start and stopping point right there. And then we're going to delete this line and this line. So now we have a continuation. And if you grab those two and hit delete. So we've got that done. Now, I would really want to, at this time, um, do something. So let's we've control G and make sure it's still in the center of the page. Go ahead and put an indexing line and hit P. Okay, I've, I've turned off my indexing lines, so I need to get rid of all these old ones to make sure we're still in the center. Then we evidently were because there were a couple on top of there, but I just need to get rid of them. Now I'm going to bring in an indexing line, hit P, indexing line, and hit P. And here's kind of the key. Let's, let's say this is about three inches. Let's change our nudge factor to three inches. Let's hit the indexing line, hit the plus key on the keyboard and move an indexing line up. Take that line, hit the plus key and move that down. Take that line, hit the plus key and move it over. What this is gonna do, this is gonna help us break it into, into four parts. Now what we need to do is, <clears throat> I would turn my nudge factor back to, let's go 17 inches. And I would make a duplicate of this. In case you mess up, you've still got something to go by. Now what I'm going to do is actually take my, I'm going to move this completely out of the way. And I'm going to make another duplicate. Let me move this out of the way. And let me hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. I want two exact copies to do what I'm fixing to do. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to zoom out to move it over. Corel won't let you get off the screen. And because of these lines, we can actually delete all this, delete this, and okay, that's good. Now on this one, we need to delete the offset. So I'm gonna actually nudge these up for a second, nudge these back. And I don't know how that got there, but it doesn't matter. We're going to delete anyway. This time, I want to, well, I really probably didn't have to do this, but I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete all that and all, all that. So I've only got one third of that. I'm going to control G and make a group of that. I'm going to move the center rotation of the center. And it is. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate 
and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. So now I have my four corners. Now I'm actually gonna move this out of the way, move this back, which I should have done before, and just delete the top half. And because we're working in the center of the page, this makes life really easy. Take your virtual segment, delete key, and delete that. Now we have this part, and we can actually, let's, let's go ahead and move, nudge this out of the way again. And let's grab this part. Make sure it's a group. Control G. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move the center rotation to the center. Doesn't look like it is, but it should be. Rotate at 90 degrees. Control D. Sometimes it'll do that at 180 degrees. Control D. Now you ought to bring these right back. And look at that. Pretty cool. Now, it doesn't look like the drawing yet. I'm gonna turn off my guidelines right here. And I'm gonna look, see, make sure we're close and our lines don't match up right there. I've, I've done something wrong. But instead of starting over, I'm going to break all this apart, go to ungroup. I'm gonna go and ungroup all and I'm gonna take, well, you know what? I don't wanna ungroup all. I just wanna ungroup. Because if you ungroup all, I'm gonna group it back together, select it again, and just ungroup, ungroup. So now, because this should still be a part, and it is. Actually, some of my lines are not touching it, but what we need to do is grab that and really, I'm, for some reason, I'm just off of one line. So I'm just gonna take this line and I can move it out of the way and just pop it right back in. Now we there's something right there we need to delete. If you can't ever delete it, go to object break curve apart and go up to object break curve apart again. I just had a line I missed. And let's look at it on this side and we're a little bit off on that side. And it might not make matter because we're going to join them together. So for the video, I'm just going to take the shape tool. I'm just going to knock those up. It's going to be a little bit off. And if you look, our circle is a little bit off. So I'm just going to bring that up. And if I was doing this for real, I'm just giving you an idea. If you ever come, sometimes you double click on it, it'll disappear. But the, for the video, that's probably pretty good. Now, it's probably the same thing on all sides. Well, maybe not. Maybe, well, there it is again. So just take that line and, you know, moving it that minute little time isn't gonna hurt anything. And we're gonna seal those up in just a second. See, I must have done something really bad because they're not all off. And I think we're good. Now, while they are, we got that one line right there. Go up and go to object and break curve apart and then select that and hit delete. That's gonna cause some problems. We might wanna look at the other four. Yep. So whenever you have something like that, you've got to, and it will not delete just go up to object and break the curve apart and then grab off your item and hit that line. In some cases, it might've been better to start over. I had something off to begin with. Got one more and we're almost through. Go up to object, break curve apart, take that line and delete it. Now we've got a bunch of broken, well, I got rid of too much line. There we go. I must not have broken the curve apart on this particular one. And then we can grab just that line. Now, if I did what I want to do right now, these aren't joined, so they would make it bad and, and have a bad joint. But if we will take the shape, well, first of all, select it all, and then grab the shape tool and see all the nodes, go up to Windows, Dockers, join curves and I've got mine set on point one. 
and it should have joined. Well, I need to select them all and then join the curves. Now it should work. So now what I need to do is I can get rid of this Docker, grab that, double click on my pen tool. I'm gonna to make it a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna go and make it in black. And there you go. It looks like the lines are going through there. I could have, you know, I could have done a better job on my, and you could still fix that to make it look like the circle. You can always take that, you know, node and, and kind of curve it around. And I would, I don't like that whatsoever. Uh, you could actually, when you have it right here, here's something we could do. We could take the lip, no, take a three point line. I'm sorry this is so long. I'm, I don't like my videos to be this long. Now we got that curve. We can take that curve and just move it up and then let's just take off the snippet of that. Move it, trying to move it at the same angle and just take a little bit of snippet. I'm only gonna do this one so we can see if it makes a difference. Now we can get rid of that line. Grab it all first, then grab it with the shape tool, select them all, open that window, Docker, join curves again, hit apply, and then hopefully we're still good to go. Take it, make sure you have it all selected, double click on your pen tool and make it whatever thickness, but I did a quarter of an inch. And then at this time you can make it black or whatever color you want. Now let's see if we made a difference. Not really, it's not perfect, but it gets the idea across and it looks pretty good. I think I made one mistake that I did not on my first one. No, they're the same. Yep, it's the same. Um, no, it's a little bit different. This line should be connected to the other line but you get the idea. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.